What up, what up, what up? Welcome to this episode of Nonsensical Knowledge. This is Edwin, and I'm sitting here again with my man Ray Sauce. What's good, bro? Ain't shit, homie. Yeah, what's new? <sighs> Fucking nothing. Still living in the corona world. Ah, it's the worst, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, we did have a, an entire episode that we uh we did do you know what i mean and uh it was about corona again so we you know we're just gonna save it for a little while see what we can do with it you know um on this episode though um ray and i lately have been talking about this whole fucking cia thing and um like basically dude you know i don't know if you've seen that book that came out i forgot the name of it but um essentially what it is man is it was about the 60s the cia charles manson and lsd so i mean the cia dude was doing some pretty fucked up shit you know back in the 60s so what do you think well when are they not doing fucked up shit in all honesty well right well this this is funny man because um for this specific program it's called uh, mk ultra and uh it was a code name given to a mind control program operated by the CIA, officially sanctioned in 1953. Um, it basically had experiments on humans were intended to identify and develop drugs and procedures to be used in interrogations in order to weaken the individual and force con- confessions through mind control. It's pretty fucking nuts, dude. Back in the 60s, they were fucking testing this shit. You know what I mean? Like, they were fucking... And, and, and the only reason I really wanted to get into this, this this episode was because of all the media shit, dude. Like, the fucking, like, it's straight mind control out there right now. Oh, dude. So, I actually just watched this uh, this video somebody had sent me through Messenger. And uh, it's this chick, you know, uh, basically parroting, parody, parodying... Um, fucking the 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 media and right. she's like you know oh don't go to the doctors yeah. unless you're sick but not if you're sick right <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah shit like that, that dude shit. oh have you dying and that's you know well, that's it's, legitimately it. how fucking is right now well it's true man you know what i mean nobody really knows what to believe you know and what's what's even crazier man is is that this stuff with the media and mind control and persuasive thinking has been going on for a super long time you know what i mean and it's they've got it down to a science now you know what I mean? It's well, dude, it's push, like, push, 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 push. I've been getting into arguments about Facebook, and uh, dude, come on! Like, I mean, I don't know. I, so there was a there was a report, dude, or it was Triggered. a un, it was a it was a declassified document, dude, stating how uh, they stole the idea of Facebook from somebody else in school. They sent Zuckerberg in there, dude, to fucking infiltrate and basically steal the idea for Facebook to work on. A type of uh, population control through social media. Well, I could see it. You know what I mean. I could definitely see it being a uh, a psyop, like a psychic, like a it's called a psyop, but it's like a mental um, operation in a sense. You know what I mean. So, like, what they do is is they put this shit out there, dude. And look, everybody is addicted to fucking Facebook, and myself included. I'm on it way too much. Um, but at the same time, dude, it's like, yo, everybody wakes up, dude, pops open Facebook, boom, boom, boom. What's going on? That's where you get all your information. It's where you get your likes, you get your little serotonin fix. You know what let, I mean? Let like, me ask you something. Do you, do you <clears throat> find that to be a public forum? No, I don't because, um, it is a private organization. So like the thing about it is, man, is, is I just had this conversation with somebody about that you that YouTube thing that I showed you. Mm-hmm. Essentially, what it was was the YouTube CEO had come out and said that anything that didn't go along with the World Health Organization's um, Corona recommendations would be taken off the platform. So <clears throat> for me, it's like, well, why wouldn't Facebook be any different? You know what I mean? Like it's funny that fake news shit I posted. Right. You know what I mean? I dude, I posted some. It was some horror shit who knows maybe it's true you know about bill gates it, yeah. it, it said some dumb shit it said like um it said well create create computers create computer virus create antivirus or like vaccination in right. a sense you know right. what i mean and then it said repeat with humans and it was bill gates right. holding it you know what i mean and facebook marked me for <laughs> <laughs> first time ever bro being marked for uh pushing fake news right well that's and they took dude it down. <laughs> the uh, so i'm in i'm in this group on the book dude called uh 
the fact checking the fact checkers. And it's awesome because they'll post the things that um that get uh, marked for uh, fact checking on Facebook and stating that it's false. And then they'll post the screenshot of it, but then post all the factual shit on it. And then be like, oh, so how is this? Who fact checked this and said it was wrong? Yeah, well, that's <laughs> that was another big argument of mine, man. It's just like, where are you checking your facts? Well, who is giving you this information that is like, oh, dude, that's you know what? what? It's a hundred percent fact. That's why Gates stepped down from CEO, it. so he could be the fact checker for Facebook, bro. Well, duh. <laughs> Zuckerberg's like, hey, homie, come on. Yeah, I got a spot for you right here on the board. All right, bring your tennis shoes. Yeah, but it just goes to show <laughs> that Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, all of these things could be a psychic, uh, a psyop, and not only that, but you know, implemented by someone like the CIA. You know what I mean? Because think about it, like in tracking purposes. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people don't give a shit what that like that thing you posted the other day about like the Facebook activities and like yeah. your log and all that. People right. don't give a fuck about that shit, dude. They're gonna let that shit run, right? You know what I mean? That's the worst part is that you know so many people are so relaxed or chill with. Losing their freedoms. <laughs> well, I don't to an extent. Listen, I understand that Facebook is a is its own company and, and whatever else, man. But until somebody else comes out with another social platform where it's actually fucking free to express or opinionate or whatever the case well, may be, well, it'll never happen because Facebook will buy them out. You know what I mean? Like so, like if I, if these developers, bro, are getting rich quick, like so, like the person that that created Instagram. Was like, okay, well, I just created Instagram. It's your only rival, really, because you already bought out MySpace. Well, give you me know some what I mean? time. I'll have my own. Yeah. Hey, do it. Me out. Hey, do it, bro. You know what I mean? But it's like, you know. What, I'll be suicided what, what, in a few years. Right. With conglomerates like that, they just take them and they say, okay, well, look, you know, you're a private company. We're going to buy you. We're going to offer you $500 million. Right. Or a bullet to the face. Which is a drop in the bucket. But so, so getting back to like the CIA stuff is, is like, so back in the 60s, these guys, they were sanctioned. Basically, the very first um, director of the um, CIA, Director Alan Dulles, had sanctioned this project for certain scientists and certain colleges and certain prisons to test unwilling or unwitting patients. So basically, they didn't take, they didn't get permission slips, bro. You know what I mean? They were like, yo, you know what? You're in a position, like even Whitey Bulger. Bro, said that he had been given LSD in crazy amounts in prison. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, but, I mean, it, it, I mean, even allegedly the Nazis were doing it with people over there too. Well, see, funny coincidence you say that because oh. it's, it's <laughs> funny you say that, bro. Because one of the scientists that were like huge into the the mind control program was uh, Sidney Gottlieb, right? And Sidney Gottlieb served on the Nuremberg trials. Like, he was, like, party to serving on a Nuremberg trial. So, he's seen all of the stuff, dude. You know what I mean? Like, all of the evidence of, the you know, what the, the Nazis were doing. And, uh, you know, and then the CIA took it and was like, well, why can't we ex- expand on this? And basically, what happened was, bro, is just, like, we had soldiers that had gotten caught in Korea. And they broke. They, they broke them down. You know what I mean? Like, they wanted to basically judge why these these men these soldiers broke down and gave up all this information you know what mm-hmm. i mean like and you know they were trying to figure out what it was and um basically bro it was like lack of sleep like they would keep them up for hours and then they would shock them you know what i mean and then they would do this and they would do that and then finally they would break and they would just give up the information but the cia said well we can learn from this you know what i mean we could say you know what well why don't we do our own trials on my control you know what i mean so they sanctioned this dude um, essentially what happens is, is the code names for the drug related experiments were project bluebird and project artichoke. They, uh, basically use numerous methods to manipulate its subjects into mental states and brain functions techniques include the covert administration of high doses of psychoactive drugs, especially LSD. So. And other chemicals, electroshocks, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, isolation, verbal and sexual abuse, as well as other forms of torture. Bro, they were doing this to regular people. Right. You know what I mean? No, for sure. That's uh like I've I've read I've read a lot of uh instances of this, not not specifically MK Ultra, but definitely um 
definitely uh, stories that, I mean, I can't sit here and say that I know if they're factual or not, but literally saying the same things and how they, how they, you know, they're, they're basically forcing you to try and untap a portion of your mind to fucking yeah. work. Well, well, that's it. And basically, you know, they, they, they said that they would, um, you know, try to delve into the deepest parts of like people's brains, you know what I mean? So they would, bro, they would like push them through like the most insane shit. Well, let me ask you so Do you think that, uh, people can do this? Do you think that there's people that can read your mind or tell you something and embed it in your mind with their own mind? Okay, so no. I don't think it's that in that sense. Okay, so it's not in a sense of a psychic thing. So, like, what happens is, is they take you, bro. So, all right, so, like, a popular thing that they used to do was is, is they would recruit grad students, right? And they would say, hey, bro, you know what? We're going to pay you to go and, like, open a flop house. In a sense, dress like hippies. Dress like fucking vagabonds, dude. You summer of love, you know what I mean? All this other shit. And uh, they would pay them, dude, to lure new people in and then and dose them, right? Like okay. they would fucking give them crazy, yo, crazy amounts of LSD. So like, and it, what would happen is they were having a lot of fun, BTW. Yo, they're <laughs> fucking. I don't know though, bro, because like in one instance, right? So like in one instance, the doctor like would knock you out bro like put you in a coma for months at a time <laughs> you know what i mean and then what he would do is is he would when he woke you back up he would fucking electroshock your brain you know what, <laughs> you know what i mean dude like bah! you know what i mean see i've and, never gotten that dude but i can only imagine what that fucking feels but, like if, right know, what which i'll get a little in, more in, in depth with that like in a doctor in a little while but like i mean so I don't think it's in the sense of like a psychic thing, dude. What they do is they take you and they like break down, you break you down, like in a sense, like the Marines do. You know what I mean? But now they're teaching you all the shit that they want. So the the objective was was to implant thoughts and memories and things of that nature into your mind without you knowing. So like me and you could have memories that we thought were like our memories, bro. Right. But they were programmed there. You know what I mean? So like. When you look at it, it's like, well, what the fuck, dude? You look at the Manchurian candidate shit. Right. It's like, well, if they're scrubbing dudes' brains, bro, you know what I mean? Like, right. what, how, you know? And I get all that. I'm like, well, my question was like, you know, and I guess it's kind of a little off topic, but like, do you think that people have tapped into, or were just born with that certain tap, dude, to where they can sit there and um, dive into your head, make you put a thought in your head, and have you be a certain way, you know, or have you have a memory in your head that didn't actually happen, but it got implanted there, you know, by psychic means. I mean, okay. So let me, let me, let me break this down real quick. Cause this is actually kind of good with the CIA topic. Like in the late seventies, actually in the sixties and seventies, the CIA did investigate shit like that, dude. So like remote viewing, fucking hypnosis, mediums, they were paying people to come in and say, oh, well, what the fuck is this, this general Osalami fucking doing? You know what I mean? Like mm. they would pay these people to come in and do this shit. So like, I mean, I think so. Like in me, just with my attitude towards like the spiritual sense, I, th I want to say that like, if we untapped our potential is in the brain, I don't see why it's not possible. But at this point right now, I think it's more of a malicious thing. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I think it's more so like, like, so everybody knows that the CIA is, CIA has been basically rogue since its inception. You know what I mean? Like, they, the president really has zero control over them. You know what I mean? They run on a black budget, dude. Their fucking budget is ridiculous. They are mostly responsible for Area 51 and all the shit that goes on there. Um, but not only that dude, but all these clandestine missions that they're like, you know, like what's great about MK ultra dude is, is a lot of it was declassified. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Actually, I was just reading a little tidbit on that. How, uh, it was, uh, they got, they got told that, uh, to destroy all documents and files in 73. Yeah, yeah, bro. And that was, yeah, because that's, yeah, it was, it was first brought to the public attention then by the committee of the United States Congress and Gerald Ford's United States president's commission on CIA activities 
within the United States, also known as the Rockefeller Commission, which is weird because on the Rockefeller Commission, so check this out, what's, this, what's fucking nuts is like just how these guys are embedded. Like these fucking dudes are everywhere. So like Alan Dulles, right, was the first director of the CIA. Dude gets fired, right? Ends up on the Rockefeller Commission. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You know what I mean? So like it's 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 pretty crazy, bro. Like so event like what happened was is so like in 1977 a Freedom of Information Act was on un- was uncovered uh, a cache of 20,000 documents relating to Project MK Ultra which led to Senate hearings later that year. Um some surviving information regarding MK Ultra was declassified in July of 2001. In December of 2018, declassified documents included a letter to an unidentified doctor discussing work on six dogs made to stop, run, or stop, run, turn, and st- and via remote control and brain implants. <laughs> yeah, so, it just makes you wonder, like, you know. That so was like, declassified in 2018. Well, it just makes you wonder, dude, like, bang, you get fucking born, dude. Who's to say we already don't have some fucking chip in us already? You well, know, Or for some sure. fucking whatever, you know. Yeah, we'll never know, dude. You know well, what I mean? I'm, you know. Well, but that's I get drunk a lot, dude. So maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe some of that I can chalk up. They... Maybe some of the things I've done I can chalk up to that. Yeah, I know where your implant is <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> in my liver. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like, I mean, for for you know, all intents and purposes, bro, the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency, was committing a lot of crimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a ton of crimes, bro. Which I mean, if anybody pays it, tries to pay attention to certain shit, you know that's really not new news, right? Well, apparently their their goal, bro, was like the CIA's ultimate goal is to like perfect the truth serum, like a fucking something that they could give you, bro, and you just spill the fucking beans. You Dude, know what, what I mean? Is, like, what is that movie Ant Man Two? Yeah, <laughs> so it's a truth serum. <laughs> no, it's not a truth serum. It's Dude, a truth serum. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah bro but that's what i mean so like and and what's crazy is is they did a lot of research into different things bro like so like it wouldn't just be to so like for for example they wanted to do like shit where like they could make somebody go insane in public you know what i mean like just go batshit crazy nobody would you know obviously discredit the person you know what i mean all this other shit but like shit that would make you catatonic shit that you would you know make you go into like a crazy trip like lsd you know what i mean or like they would hold you in there for prolonged amounts of time like they would threaten you bro and be like yo spill the fucking beans or i'm giving you i'm dosing you with more you know what i mean like and these people would literally they would cause a state of insanity well right dude i mean that (laughs) yeah that, that is a state of insanity in a sense i mean it's uh you're definitely in a completely different spectrum there. Right. You know what I mean? Well, that's that's the thing, man. Is so it, it, here's what's crazy about the scale of the project of MK Ultra. I'm going to read off a couple of things real quick just because I, I kind of bullet pointed them. Um uh, real quick though, I just want to uh, add that um mescaline was actually part of uh Oh, uh, it's not even the only one, bro. No, right. Yeah. I'm just yeah, mescaline. I'm just kind of skimming through yeah. tidbits here. Probably so I they, just wanted to drop that that I seen that. Probably fucked with DMT too. Yeah. They gave people like DMT and shit. Uh but the scale of MK MK Ultra, you know, one nineteen fifty five uh MK Ultra document gives an indication of the size and the range of the effort. It refers to the study of the assortment of mind altering sub- substances <laughs> described as follows. Substances which will Promote illogical thinking, impulsiveness to the point where the recipient would be discredited in public. Substances which will promote, uh, which will increase the efficiency of mentation and perception. Materials which cause the victim to age faster, slower in maturity. Materials which will promote the intoxicating effects of alcohol. Materials which will produce the signs and symptoms of recognized diseases in a reversible way so they may be used for malingering, etc. Quick question. What's the definition of malingering? Because that's a first for me. Really? Yeah. Malingering, I'm, I'm assuming it's a continuous, continuous problem. You might have to Google it. Yeah, I'll Google that real quick. You know what I mean? But uh, so also materials and physical methods which will produce amnesia for events preceding and during their use. So they can make us have amnesia, bro, whatever they're doing with us. You know what I mean? We wouldn't even remember it. So like events like fucking Sir Hans and sh- shooting fucking Reagan or, right. or, uh, fucking lee harvey oswald 
You know what I mean? These fucking dudes, bro. Like, yeah, I'm kind of not sold on the Leo Rivera thing. Well, but this is well, that's this, a different topic. Well, well no, it, it, it. Well, well, here's what's crazy: is it kind of all bleeds into the same thing, bro? Because here's what's crazy: is real this, quick, malingering you know, in the context of medicine, malingering is the act of intentional feening or exaggerating physical or psychological symptoms for personal gain. Right. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> right. So fiends, basically. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, like, these these substances would be used in any way, shape, or form. So, like, the shit with the Lee Harvey Oswald, bro. You know what I mean? It's like the, 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 the Warren Commission, which was created to determine whether or not um, Lee Harvey Oswald had acted alone. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, bro, it was rigged from the get. You know what I mean? It was fucking rigged. You know what I mean? And Alan Dulles, I believe, was on that motherfucker, too. So what's even crazier is is that, like, now we fast forward a little bit. He kills Kennedy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kills Kennedy. And then Jack Ruby kills him. Right? What's fucking crazy is, is one of these CIA psychiatrists were Jack Ruby psychiatrists. Oh, how convenient. Right? Fucking pretty weird. So, like... You know, it's it's just kind of convenient that, uh, you know, like that. There's those connections, bro. You know what I mean? The, the, the connections that would would put these people together or in the same place or in the same shit. You know what I mean? They were saying Manson, bro. Charles Manson was working for the CIA, like not working for him, but like in some capacity, bro. Like he was getting a lot of like he, bro. <laughs> they let this dude out of prison. He he violated the day he got out of prison. They let him go. Like they brought him this like I can't remember whether it was a. Uh, San Diego or L.A. County. But either way, they brought him in front of the judge. Somebody steps in and says, now nah, let him go. You know what I mean? Right. Well, I mean, you know, it kind of makes you kind of makes you wonder with uh, the. Uh, the Now, I don't want to say every single one or even maybe a majority of the people that conduct mass shootings, dude, turn, you know, are possibly under this sort of influence but there's certain times dude where you're like how convenient was it for it to happen here at this time at this place at this you know whatever or there's you know there's too many there's more questions than answers with certain things and for sure and not only that man but it's like a lot of these dudes are like what the fuck do you mean i just shot up a fucking church right what the fuck do you mean i just shot up a fucking aurora movie theater you know what i mean like or you don't get a chance to talk to them either right or i mean not i mean well granted we well, can't they go get killed. And talk well, to well this dude. is what pisses me off a lot of times about these shooters bro is that a lot of the times they die you know what i mean right. so here's my thing is well, actually and, no not really i mean there's been a in the past couple of years dude there's so many mass shooting people right. but how much are getting you pulled hear? in but and i had this conversation with somebody the other day is, is like how many times do you see those trials filed along with no zero bro. Right. Like, we just, we, we were privy enough to fucking see El Chapo go get fried. You right, know what I mean? We were quick. privy enough to have fucking R. Kelly. We were privy, not, privy enough to fucking have all these big names out there, dude. There's right, another well, what's, big one. What's uh, the one, what's what's the white dude with a fucking bowl cut, dude, down in, uh, one of, Dylan I, I want to say the Carolinas or something. Dylan, He's, Dylan Roof. Yeah, so like. Piece of shit. Dude, where's this trial at? I haven't seen this motherfucker in court since the shit actually happened. Well, it's the same thing with the dude in Aurora. Do with the funny fucking pink hair, yeah, or whatever. Fucking. Oh yeah, the Colorado, uh, the the Dark movie theater. Night. They had a movie theater, bro. Yeah. Like you, you don't hear anything about these people, man. And here's what's interesting, man: is, is there was a a case that was really real weird. quick. How qu- how fast, in your opinion, dude? The Vegas shooter. That shit was in the news for maybe a month. You don't never hear no shit about it anymore. No. They didn't have no. any details for you. Once shit started getting weird as far as the details yeah. went, gone. Didn't well, hear shit about it. You know what's it. funny, though, bro, is, is I've been telling people, I'm like, yo, bro, this fucking Epstein cover-up oh, is, bro, going that's so, another one. is going the distance. That's another like, one. This shit is going so fucking far now. Coronavirus? Like, what the fuck, dude? You know what I mean? Like, it's so crazy to me because, like, we've been, and this is what I'm talking about with mind control, is, is that the media's gives you one thing right it gives you the vegas shooter right two weeks later something else big happens you know what i mean fuck there goes the vegas shooter you know what i mean another big thing happens oh jeffrey epstein is killed he's suicided now we're moving along we got coronavirus you know what i mean well right but and then and then you sit there and you're like 
well, what happened to all these people that are about to go down because of yeah. the Jeffrey Epstein shit? Are they still getting tried? Those, it's not like those women fucking got suicided. Or do I mean, I don't know. Well, Maybe I'll have to fucking well, find out. Well, no, right now, dude, um, right now there's like his, um, what the fuck, his like confidant or like his like bro, his home girl there that's still out there, bro. Yeah. Like that's still like holding the cash of information. She's in a foreign country and she is being protected by Navy SEALs, like former Navy SEALs, bro. She hired them. No shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good because for her. because she wasn't she wasn't fucking around and right, not dropped the bomb. And she's got a lot of dirt, man. Allegedly on you know some really super high profile. Well, even people. even in a I don't want I certainly don't want to say in a lower situation. However, Corey Feldman, dude. I was just gonna say Corey Feldman had all this information and was literally posting videos of how fucking scared he was that people were gonna show up. So like, in in, in talking in this MK Ultra shit, dude. Like you see how his personality and his his the way he was, dude. Like you know who who's to say this dude's not sitting there getting dosed? Like yo, start acting crazy so people yeah. think you're a fucking bullshitter. Well, here's what sucks, man. Is is that anybody that is that has a voice can be silenced? You know what I mean? Uh, like uh, apparently, real quick. Well, the thing about it is, man, is is um think about it like this: you're up in a position like Corey Feldman. You know exactly how powerful all of these clowns are. You know what I mean? You know that these dudes hold the keys to Hollywood and the world and all this other shit. And if you know, if you come out and say something, nobody's going to fucking believe you. It's, That's got to be the worst. It's That's got to be, the, be worst. the worst, dude. It is the worst. You have a platform that you can go on. And even if you say something, they're like, <laughs> it's fucking crazy. I mean, dude, look yeah. at him. He went on that fucking morning talk show, yeah. did some like music number bro like yeah angels and airwaves <laughs> yeah, you know what i'm saying like and then oh no it's cory feldman in the what is whatever it? i don't even i can't even remember <laughs> right dude. i was thinking of tom delonge's shit but like but like something like that dude like you know a, an everyday person would see that and be like oh well this dude's a fucking yeah he's a loon i'm not gonna listen to him but that's what i mean so like now like and here's what's crazy to me, dude, and is it kind of goes back to the UFO UFO thing, excuse me, with the um this information, like yeah. how they infiltrated groups and said, okay, well, no, we're gonna put certain information into these groups to and make then, it lies, right, to discredit them or to to make it seem so absurd that nobody wants to believe it. Right. You know what I mean? And that's what they do, man. Like that's like and and it's so much deeper than it is just like a a, a Corey Feldman. You know what I mean? Like Hollywood is fucking disgusting. Like disgusting, bro. Uh, like no. fucking disgusting. It's the People, most. If you don't read up on Hollywood, by the way. You really should. Yeah, some of it's... your listen, dude. Some of your fucking favorite actors and actresses, dude, are the like. Yeah, you'll cry about the, it. If they fucking die tomorrow. The biggest pieces of shit, dude. So like, what for prime example, dude? Roman Polanski. If anybody knows who Roman Polanski is, he's a fucking disgusting piece of shit. Um, he is a film producer and a movie writer. But he raped a fucking 13-year-old girl, bro, at Jack Nicholson's house in L.A., bro. Now, Nicholson wasn't there. You know what I mean? But at the same time, Roman Polanski, like, at Nicholson's house, bro? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you can't, like, it. it's just, like, it's so, I wonder if they, like, it's like the CIA, man. They get these people compromised. You know what I mean? Like, they're compromised. So, like, for example, like, the, the chief prosecutor on Manson's, um, Manson's uh, prosecution. You know what I mean? Like the, the Manson family. Yeah. It was Vincent Pelosi or Peliosi or some, some, some shit like that. But in any event, bro, like he like changed the whole narrative of those murders. You know what I mean? Like he changed the whole thing. And why? Because he was covering for someone else. You know what I mean? Later in later years, dude, this journalist comes and finds out that this dude's got like a secret fucking family and, like, he's got, like, you know, he's this big piece of shit liar, dude, and he, like, beat this chick up, like, years ago, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, b because he was this big fucking huge dude that fried Charles Manson, you know what I mean? Right. He had all this pull, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, it's, it's just crazy that, like, they can take something from you and say, like, look, you know what? Like, they they had one dude, dude, that fucking literally called his wife, told his wife, like, yo, look, I'm not coming home. I can't have any relationship with my kid because that's the only, only attachment. You know what I mean? Like right. that's the only thing they can hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, eventually he went on to, uh, I believe, killing himself. 
because he, you know, or suicided, whatever the case may be, because he just, not Vincent Pelosi, but this other guy. Right. And, uh, you know, but imagine that, bro. You can't get away from you dudes. Like, you can't get away from these fucking spooks. You well, know what I mean? Well, like, right, but this is, that's what I'm saying, man, is that it's got to be such a terrible thing, dude, to live with something that you literally, even if you wanted to run away from it, you can't. And, yeah. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't know the certain situations that some people try to bring to light, but, you know, just uh, in anything, like, trying to confront something or, or just, you know, exclude yourself from, you know, putting it out there or whatever the case may be. Like, even the small things are fucking terrible to hold on to or try to steer away from. So to be on a bigger scale like that, to yeah, have a piece much, of much bigger scale, dude. To have to have a piece of something that big, dude, and not be able to express it, not be able to yeah. let go of it, not be able to run away from well, it. Well, that's dude. the like, problem. Imagine what those people have to fucking deal well, with every well, day. Well, that's what's crazy, man, is because you have a lot of these retired CIA agents that are still alive today. You know what I mean? And there's been journalists that have gone and you know what I mean, like, hey, what's up, dude? You know what I mean? It's been fucking. 30 years you know what i mean with tell me you know what i mean and they're like no dude we signed a disclosure with these people so if we speak we go to fucking yeah, prison it comes out I'm we fucked. go to prison right. you know what i mean if i'm found to be that dude with that information i go to prison right. which is fucked up dude because the cia is such a <laughs> fucked up organization anyway well, well that's yeah dude and i mean just just imagine like even if like depictions in the movies or whatever that everybody sees to get an idea or a grasp of what the cia is even if you don't like read into shit and whatever <laughs> like people like that like oh my god you, you have to you have to in a sense take them serious because look at what they fucking do <laughs> you know well, what i'm saying you and can't that's... turn around and be like oh this dude, this dude was fucking yeah. helping yeah. slave trade, dude, <laughs> in fucking well, 2015. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's what's insane, bro, is, is, like, I actually took down some information, bro, about um how the CIA had moved, like, their operation to Canada, bro. They had funded, like, fucking Canadian doctors, bro, into giving these people fucking LSD. You know what I mean? And then got caught. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's all public information now. Like, you can look any of this stuff up. Right, and, but, uh, but what did you see of it? What did you see of it on every day, well, everyday life? Okay, so, like, that's the thing, man. Is just, All right, so back in, uh, I just had it here, back in. Let me ask you something. If everybody. 73, they, they, the CIA director ordered the, the destruction of 150, or hold on a second. It was recorded, to, uh, M- MK Ultra were, the records were destroyed in 1973. Yeah. So, by order of CIA director Richard Helms. So it's been super difficult, you know what I mean, for anybody to put anything together. They find this fucking cache of 20,000 documents because some dude forgot they were there. They got, like, listed wrong, you right. know what I mean, and they all come out, dude. And well, how convenient is that, dude, that, like, there are so many fucking loopholes, man, and everybody always, everybody that needs to have that loophole is lucky enough to fucking find it. Yeah, well, well, it's, with that, I think it what we as i say loophole and with yeah, quotations was, in the air bro like I'm well not we as civilians bro like we are lucky we are fortunate that they were miscategorized you know what i mean if that's what you want to well, call right it. right like you always hear oh there was mistreatment of fucking evidence guys getting off oh, scot-free dude. you know what i'm saying Let like i'm saying you, like loopholes like that dude like there's fucking everywhere yeah there's, and it always seems to be the people that need that fucking loophole to pop in get it well, well a lot of times they create it well right so like that's right. What, right and that's the thing with cia man is, is they tried to script a lot of things so like yo bro the no bullshit like real quick let me find that shit i'll tell you what they tried to do to castro down in cuba yeah you know, they tried to hook they tried to fuck my man up well not my man he's a piece of shit too but um, that's your homie yeah you know you guys ate tacos together i know i mean i mean fidelo <laughs> Oh, is that what you called him? Fidelo? Fidelo! Pretty sure he would have shot you right in the face if you called him that. Yeah, he probably would have killed me. <laughs> he probably... <laughs> Gave you the angel wing, spread he... your fucking rib cage apart. <laughs> yeah, he probably would have fucking killed my ass. But in any event, basically, bro, they were trying to, like, poison a cigar, dude. They were trying to, like, give him shit to make his beard fall oh, out. Dude, the, they were things, trying to... the things they were trying to get him with, dude, that he would call them out, too. Like, I've seen... I've, I've read things, dude, where... He would call them out, like, and we don't see it because it's it's shit he's he's putting out down in Cuba, and they're not gonna put that on the news, like. 
Not here. No, right, but that's what I'm saying, dude. So, like, he's sitting there calling him right out. Like, you fucking pieces of shit tried to, you know, stick fucking whatever in my soup. You know, like, yeah. calling him out, calling him pieces of shit. And we won't ever see that. Yo, what, what do you think it would take? So, granted, you and me are fucking weirdos and crackpots. And, you know, we're off our rocker because we read shit and, you know, do whatever. What What do you think it would take? To get the majority of the populace to be like, oh shit, you know, I, I guess I don't want to say to to believe or listen to certain things, but at least be able to expand their mind, especially the ones that like sometimes just clearly will not open their mind to other scenarios with things. What do you, what mean? Do you think? Like, what do you think would take? Like, do you think like mainstream media needs to come out and be like, listen? Half of the shit we were giving you is bullshit. Like, do you think if somebody on the on mainstream news came out and said, "Listen, we this is literally our agenda. All the, we're literally giving you an agenda." Like, do you think that would wake people up? No, because I think that there is a, only a certain a certain and no, percent. So Follow up question: Do you think there will ever be some sort of moment or thing? That'll wake people up. I think spiritual consciousness will wake people up. But the problem is, is is that not in a religious sense, just for everybody out there fucking listening. Um, I think Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. He's fucking <laughs> definitely watching. That's my guy. Um, but I think the the problem is, man, is is that people are too lazy to to entertain that thought process. So, for example, well, I was about to say you said busy. Too busy to entertain. No, that. no, too lazy. Oh, lazy. Okay, too lazy. Sorry, I, miss, I, 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 I think it's a, it's amount of laziness, bro. Because and and I think it's designed because we're given. Look, dude. It's again. I can't tell you how many times I've looked at my phone today. I can't tell you how many times I was on Facebook today. I can't tell you how many times that I was. Well, but also like, in the same sense, are you on there to do the trendy shit, or are you on there reading? I mean, things I, that we're talking about right now, I or mean, things that pertain to certain things that we talk about, you know, uh, my mama calls on a daily me, basis. My mama calls me a meme lord. <laughs> 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 nah, JK. Um, I, I a lot of the times, man, uh, Facebook for me is is networking with people that are out of town, and also to um, network, obviously, for the podcast and shit. And then, like, I mean, I, I share I share the fuck out of memes, dude. All the right. awesome memes. But, like, I most, I want to say most of this, sh- my alternate information that I can see pop up on Facebook and then research somewhere else is is, is a lot of where I get, it, you know what I mean, uh, information-wise. But I think people are too drowned in that thought process. So, like, it's you more think people they get lost in translation, like searching on Facebook. I I don't know if it's just Facebook, but I think it's bigger than that. I think it's KRS one said it best: "Tell the it's to tell a library, it's to tell a live vision." You know what I mean? Like this is good been quote a, job, by the way. This is this has been a an ongoing thing for centuries, bro. You know what I mean? They gave us everything that would dumb us the fuck down, make us fat, lethargic, fucking super size me type shit. You know yeah. what I mean? And it, it dumbs ra- Wally, bro. It dumbs rational thinking, bro. Like it's uh, for me. I can't tell you. Like just in 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 my thought process alone is is that like I it me. I've always been, and you also have always raged against the system. I guess in a sense, we from a young age knew that society was fucked. Well, you know what I've, I mean? And I've I think, had uh, pretty good guidance as far as that goes as well. It wasn't, well, uh, I didn't just sit there and be like, oh, you know what, fuck the system. No, I well, had, no, uh, no. But, but I this had is, smart motherfuckers helping me along the way. Well, right. And it's life experiences. You know what I mean? And and, and that's the thing, man, is, is I think anybody could be lost in this grand, grandeur idea that life is this way. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, dude, reality, <laughs> reality is so funny fucking stupid you know what i mean phone fucking work job fucking material items fucking you know what i mean the rat race the fucking you never get time to really sit there and say yo let me delve deeper into myself you know what i mean or into the people i love 
because you're like, oh, fuck, dude, I got to check, see if I got a notification, how many likes I got on this <laughs> meme. You know what I mean? I got fucking... popular today? Or... I need this serotonin fix. You know what I mean? And I think that's designed also by Facebook is, is that, like, the whole like system is, is that, like, the only reason that you get excited when that like pops Attention. off is it, well it is but it's it, it what happens is is you see that your your eyes send a signal to the brain and then the brain releases serotonin so you just got fucking happy because all right i get that oh my god i just oh, me fuck, i share cool. a million things and probably people fucking unfollow me bro like oh, i yeah, probably i probably share sure. like the bombest fucking meme in the world get two likes on it because everybody yeah. else unfollowed me because of the meme i put up before <laughs> yeah nobody nobody wants to delete you <laughs> right nobody wants to delete me because they're dope as shit yeah. but nobody wants to be that person like Oh, yeah, I like that meme that dude just put oh, up because right. they're all fucked up. But I think, like I said, I think this is all designed, bro. You know what I mean? I think this is designed for a bigger population control in a sense. You know what I mean? And these psyops and these these operations that were conducted illegally, like, they learned a lot, bro, about the human psyche and about the human will. And just, bro, they were pushing people so far. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and they were breaking you know what well, I mean? look, at, look at the rate that technology has grown, dude. Since we'll, we'll just we'll just start with a with with the nineties, okay? We'll start nineteen ninety. Look at the look at the growth in technology, dude. To where in the 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 time span of thirty years, it's grown to where things they were talking about seemed so far fetched back in the nineties, and now we're sitting here doing. A majority of them, you know, you're sitting there, you're you're talking to somebody from across the country in front of their face in all technicality. Yeah, there's a screen between the both of you, but you're talking to somebody across the country at the drop of a dime. You know, it's uh, it's a big step, man, and and definitely considering our parents and their parents and all that stuff, dude. It's uh, dude, imagine listen. imagine grandparents seeing the shit that we have right now. The ones oh, that no, are unfortunately dude. not with us anymore. Imagine yeah, them seeing yeah. what we have now and knowing well, what they grew up with. I think, yeah, I think it'd be overwhelming, dude, because of the generational thing. You know what I mean? Like, you grew up in a certain generation, you're used to certain things. And I think Especially now. Especially the ones that were like, ah, oh, you're, you know, you're fucking crazy, you know, and bang, here we are. Yeah. Well, it's, it's tough, man, because like I said, it's the whole fucking ostrich head in the sand thing you know what i mean it's right. comfy in there it's comfy <laughs> bro you know what i mean it's nice it's cool what a weird analogy it's, too like yo <laughs> fucking sticking your head in the sand yo for it's real comfy. though i like it but the, yeah but that's what i mean dude is that, but you sit there and you say well i don't have to deal with that right you know what i mean like i've had like conversations with people that it's like well i don't want to deal with all that i don't want to think about that i don't want to think about corona i don't want to think about this I don't want to think about the possibility that my government could be lying to me daily. You know what I mean? I don't want to think about that. Like, well, well, here's the issue with that. When you don't want to think about it, dude, that gets thrown to the wayside, and then your freedoms go with it. Right, for sure. And you're the type of person that are going to sit there and say, well, you know what? I voted in this election, but I don't really care what happens. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> right. you know what i mean Defeats like the purpose of your statement it re it really does right. you know what i mean so it's like and and the only way for any of us for our country to our people to take this country back is to get on one mindset and it's like it's never gonna happen well unfortunately the only way to get something bro is uh revolution and well well this is some but, people are scared to shed blood but this is what goes back to the fucking even the president of the united states bro so like let's let's take that fucking washington dc flyover in like 64 or whatever it was right. you know what i mean like essentially what happened was is this one of the presidents said he stepped to the fucking cia and was like look i want to know what the fuck is going on and they were like well no fuck you <laughs> you know what i mean like you're they, they basically told him he was a civilian employee or a temporary employee, right. you know what I mean? And that he didn't have a need to know, right? And he was like, well, fuck you, dude. I'm going to bring up the first army and shit, and I'm gonna fuck. we're going to get live. And, it, dude, they stage a flyover, allegedly. You know what I mean? And I'm almost positive this was during Truman's term, but they, they stage a flyover in fucking D.C., bro, or right over the White House, right? right. There's pictures of it online right, and yeah, shit. I've seen it, yeah. You know, for anybody listening, you can look at you can look it up. It's called DC Flyover, um, and there's pictures taken, dude. I'll there's to get facts. Yeah, you know what I mean. And essentially, what happened was is is that you know 
they basically muscled Truman and was like, look, dude, this is what we can do. We're sitting above your house right now, bro. Where's your F-16s? <laughs> you know what I mean? And on top of that, they can't catch what we're fucking driving. Fuck your couch. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, it, they essentially control shit. So it's like when the president can't rein shit in, there's an issue. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, that shit's all uh, fucking bizarre. Well, it is. It really is. It's a sucker's job, dude. You know what I mean? Um, I don't feel like any one person is good enough to run a country of millions and millions, hundreds of millions of people. I I literally can't lie though, dude. Like, <laughs> I know I know the dude's stupid as shit, and I know that he says things that people don't fucking like, man. But I gotta be honest that it's it's nice to see some of the shit that Trump does. You know the way he conducts the business that he's doing. You know, listen. One thing I have <laughs> to give him. Is is that motherfucker is a comedian. <laughs> Let it. me tell you something. He's I don't care what your feelings are about Trump. I know. That motherfucker <laughs> gets people triggered. You know what I mean? And oh, like, I know. It's so great. And and for me, dude, I dude, me and you we bust balls all the time. Oh, a I lot know. of times we're talking shit on this fucking show. You know what I mean? And like for Trump, like I don't want him as my president. I'll be clear. But just because I don't feel like any one man is qualified for that job, but I would rather have a businessman than one of these pieces of shit politicians. Oh, for sure. But <laughs> I would hang out with Trump. Oh. <laughs> like I would, like Trump, him, if you're listening, to bro, bro, you come and, on, this bro, show. you and Kanye. I'm about to, I'm Bring about it to in. tweet you right now. Bring it in. We'll drink some dragon blood, dude. I, I'm <laughs> tweeting him right now. I'm jumping on Twitter. You know what I mean? But it's uh, but this is what I mean though. Is is like he's a comedian, bro. Like the dude, like when he fucking he literally put out that message, bro. That that tweet when he sent out the stimuluses. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, I'm going through Facebook and Twitter to find out who said not my president. <laughs> yes. And you're not getting you're not getting a stimulus check, dude. That'd be so great. And he put that on Twitter, dude, and then his team deletes it. <laughs> Jerks. Yeah, but it was a hundred percent. Yeah, but dude, but, awesome. That's awesome. But that's what I mean. I don't though. care who anybody is. Who does that? And, and, and you're in this you're in this high position, and you're sitting there saying things like that. Like, come on, you can't you you have you can't do nothing but respect that. Yeah, well, that's what I mean, dude. Is it's like I'm so over. The cut and dry fucking president. It's like, okay, Obama, we know you were cool, dude. You're we the, know your you ties know. and your Adam's apple. Right. You know what I mean? We know you, you're all eloquent and all this other shit. But at the same time, bro, guess what? We hired a bully as president. We hired a pit bull to go in everywhere and say. Oh, well, we don't do bullying in this country, bro. Well, <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. But that's what I mean, though. Is so. But in any event, like these, it goes to show, man, like how much little power that anybody really has. You know what I mean? Like when it comes to shit outside of our control, oh boy, that's crazy, man. You know, and uh, it's 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 one of those things where you know it's a it, we'll never know until shit's declassified and shit's like freedom of information and all that shit, dude. But uh, real quick, I wanted to tell you about the did I ever tell you about uh, Operation Midnight Climax? Um, that's a porno, isn't it? It could be a porno. <laughs> it probably is, dude, somewhere. Like, I mean, it's fucking probably on Pornhub or fucking something, right. dude. It just sounds fucking like Fucking red, too. <laughs> Operation Midnight fucking Climax. Right, it just sounds like one, Starring like steel. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, but in any event, it was an Operation Midnight Climax. The CIA set up several brothels, right? <laughs> Yo, listen. So it wasn't far off. Yo, listen. <laughs> well, that's why I kind of let you go with it, because uh, <laughs> like, this, this is going to get good. This is going to get good. But so, uh, Operation Midnight Climax, the CIA set up several brothels within agency safe houses in San Francisco, right? To obtain a selection of men who would be too embarrassed to talk about the events. The men were dosed with LSD, the brothels were equipped with one-way mirrors, and the sessions were filmed for later viewing and study. In other experiments where people were given LSD without their knowledge, they were interrogated under bright lights with doctors in the background taking notes. The agency poured millions of dollars into studies examining ways to influence and control the mind and to enhance its ability to extract information from resistant subjects during interrogation. So, bro, they were leading these Johns in here. 
dosing them. <laughs> they weren't getting no pussy. They weren't getting nothing. You know? <laughs> just, getting <dosed. laughs> just getting dosed, bro. But what they would do is, is they'd like, they'd put it in their drink. They put it in their their food. Oh, Rufian, motherfucker! Yeah, dude. They well, it was without their knowledge. That's where Bill Cosby got it. Yeah, fucking a. But he <laughs> would uh, they would dose them, dude, without their knowledge. And then what would happen is, is like the hookers would lead them in. You know what I mean? And then the hookers would, oh yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. You know what I mean? And fucking, they would aerosol that shit, bro. Like they would literally like spray in LSD. That's fucking nuts. But how can I get into a room like that? All right. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's up, dude? Like, uh, do, they, do these things still exist, or is that classified too? You know. So, but it's just, like, it just, it's insane, man. That you know the 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 scope of, and this is just one operation, bro. This MK Ultra shit is only one operation. This is just mind control. You know what I mean? This is like Manchurian Candidate shit. You know what I mean? And uh, there's also speculation, dude, that the CIA killed Kennedy. You know what I mean? Like it's it's like Oh dude, I I honestly there's there's got to be an episode uh devoted to Kennedy because Oh, there will be, dude. There's just it's too much. It's too much to go over like way now. Way too much, right? That's But I, like the magic bullet theory, dude, the fucking the the double bullet theory, like the the grassy knoll, <laughs> there's fucking all kinds would, of shit going on. Would you believe it? Would you believe it if I turned around and said, you know, like have you ever seen that movie Wanted? Mm. With uh Angelina Jolie's in it? Probably, dude. I can't remember. So, like, like the dude would like uh, swing his his gun, dude, and it would curve the bullet around shit to fucking oh, kill come people. On. Like, <laughs> I'm so, like, so, like, this I'm saying, like, imagine, name. imagine there's some dude like running down the road and he just jumps and swings his arm around. Is his that's... name Neo? <laughs> no, it wasn't. All Neo. right then, fuck him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't the one. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So. But that's but that's what I mean though is these oh, dudes. BTW Matrix Four, they're working on it. Yeah, with dude, Reeves, I know they brought back what's her face too. Yeah, Trinity. Oh yeah, and then they're they're hiring like a young Morpheus or some shit. Really, that's so fucking. Stupid. Yeah, bro, they're going in a different direction with Morpheus. But yeah, I'm sorry, Morris Fishburne. It's please. I think it's I think it's more so supposed to be like a prequel though, like they, like they're in the present but they're going into the past because that's that how makes they. Makes sense. There was a set photo leak, dude, of uh, Trinity and Neo walking through yeah. the matrix empty like yeah. there's nothing in it it's yeah. just buildings and shit like that well i think that's I, I i haven't looked too much into it but i think that's like the whole premise to be well, i got hype dude because i, I love the, the storyline um not for nothing a lot of conspiracy things well, way uh, way ahead of its time a, dude so oh, way ahead sure. of way ahead of its time i don't think people are ready for it in a sense. it's funny because i just seen a, a meme the other day dude that was saying that uh it was it was keanu reeves and he was holding a sign that said the matrix was not a movie it was a documentary yeah yeah that's you i've seen I mean? that too and, but you know what you know what's crazier though is i was actually i was uh i was scrolling through something and uh it was talking about time travelers and shit yeah and um it was uh it started talking about uh influential and celebrity people that you know conspiracy theories of certain people being time travelers or immortal and it starts talking about keanu reeves dude and it's showing you pictures of figures in history that legitimately look just like this motherfucker dude like no lie like makes you think you see all these influential People or, well, or just Greta, people back in you've history. Seen the Greta thing, right? Too the Greta Thunberg thing. I don't know. If they I've found. Seen that. Well, you know who Greta is. Everybody yeah, yeah, knows yeah. who fucking Greta is. I think she's a sham. Um, uh, no, no disrespect to her. Her. <sighs> Let me see here. Yeah, we're not gonna get too far into it. I just want to be clear. You know what I mean? That I I'm support. I support her cause. I just don't support her and the people that's backing her. Do you think there needed to be climate change? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Dude, we're ruining this shit out of this planet, bro. We fucked this planet so far. You know what I mean? It's I, we only go off of what we're getting told. Well, bro. that's what exactly. I'm not a scientist. I, to sit there okay, so neither am I. I'm only going by the fact of what I can see go into the atmosphere. So, like all of these, you know what I mean? Like, look at these trucks, dude. They're blowing out huge, big clouds right. of black smoke or smokestacks that are blunt you know what i mean those are obvious signs of something that wasn't there before that is affecting something it has to be affecting something you know what i mean it was the same thing with the 5g shit like i'm assuming i'm no fucking scientist here but i'm assuming once you put those signals into the air it's different you know what i mean it's not what it was 
So, like, I mean, yeah, um, I think there definitely should have been climate change. But, like, the thing with Greta Thunberg is, like, there's a photo circulating of allegedly Greta in the 1800s. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And the chick, the girl in the picture looks just like her, dude. Like, just fucking oh, like her, dude. telling you, I fell down that rabbit hole, dude, of uh, immortality and time shit. Time travel? And, yeah. Well, time travel and immortality, dude, of, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, I won't get into it right now, but, like, that's a that's a deep rabbit hole, man. That, uh, oh, for sure, dude. We can really raise his eyebrows, and you're like, hmm. Well, yeah. Well, dude, there was, there was legitimate, I know it's kind of segueing from the CIA stuff, but uh, there was studies, bro, into, like, there was legitimate expeditions looking for like the fountain of youth well right but imagine imagine getting told that you know certain people are going to look for this fountain of youth imagine if that person that was in this era looking for it this era was looking for it it was all the same person it could have been imagine that imagine well it's all the same person like oh i'm going on the quest for the fucking grail dude and well i i read this book dude they've been getting it the whole time but they're fucking no no i'm doing it so back off I read I read this book when I was in timeout. Um, that it was <laughs> timeout. That's so cool. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. When I was in timeout, dude, like that, that uh, uh, basically it's called Tales from the Time Loop. Uh, my brother, uh, my brother Jason Chaplin sent it out to me. Um, but it was by David Ick, or David Ike, or David Ick, whatever you want to call him. Um, he basically was uh, he basically was like you know um making the explanation dude that like we are living in an ever revolving um an ever revolving uh, what's it called there time loop yeah. so basically we're reliving the same experiences over well, and like over the and matrix, over the matrix right, right. we're right. reliving the experiences over and over and over and over and over and over again and that that's like sort of like the explanation for deja vu is is that we like experience that Either here or in another dimension or wherever the case may be. I was about to say, you know I what I mean? think deja vu is more of a dimensional thing. Than well, That's just my own personal yeah, for sh- on it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And uh, I think with a lot of it, dude, um, again, it's it's opening in your spirit. You know what I mean? Opening in your mind. Well, right. And that's uh, sometimes, dude, you know, like just on a, on a personal level, I think like sometimes i experience certain things or do certain things or whatever whatever you want to whatever topic you might want to cross over but uh i feel <clears throat> i feel like interdimensional things dude have a huge weight on a lot of things that happen <clears throat> you know sometimes uh you try to get away from something but it always just keeps recurring you know and it's because you might not necessarily be trying to do something but every every other sort of dimension is doing its own thing and sometimes yeah you backtrack or things cross or things you know like i think i think interdimensional things do to her a uh, a huge influence on a lot of stuff that happens well you know what's crazy man is as well you know is that there's a lot of study into that too man there's a lot of study into dimensions and like CERN and shit. You know How about I mean? the fucking Mandela effect? You heard, oh, you heard about that, oh, right? Dude, I'm pretty sure I put you on to the Mandela effect. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I don't yeah. think you did, dude, because the Berenstein Bears thing, I think uh, a friend of mine had hit me up about. And, uh, bro, I was on that Mandela shit like five years ago. I think bro. I think we definitely talked about it, but uh, somebody else had hit me up saying, dude, I just uh, I bought these books for my kid, and uh, they're all typos. And it was the Berenstein Bears, dude. Yeah. So, like, well, all right. I so for him, I'm like, dude, that's crazy. And right. Then, well, for every anybody listening, dude, um, the Mandela effect was named after Nelson Mandela. Um, basically, the idea behind the effect is 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 that hundreds of millions of people in the world remember Nelson Mandela dying in the 1980s, right? Um, I'm almost positive he died in the late '90s, early 2000s. I want to say early 2000s. So that's the, that's the, the idea is is that why do so many people remember him dying? Like every single one of them said like they to seen an him. argument. Remember? Yeah, like like like, like, like they were there type shit. Right. You know what I mean? Like they watched the procession online, or yeah. they watched the procession on TV, well, or whatever. Online, yeah, was, but, <laughs> right on TV or whatever. But um, but then you know, and these are hundreds of millions of people, dude, that yeah. believe this. So it's like not just like a, a a select group of people. So like, but there's 
hundreds of instances of well, that's the what Mandela started the effect. investigation yeah that's what started the investigation hence it's called the mandela yeah, effect. And because then, uh, so what i was talking about is the so a lot of people and i'm sure people that are listening know about the berenstein bears you grew up reading those books kids books about a family of bears doing whatever they do well like it's like i've been saying this whole time the berenstein bears berenstein well, if you go Google this book or go and pick up a copy or whatever you want to do, it's spelled now Berenstain Bears. And there are, there, it's printed in a different spelling, Berenstain Bears. It's not Berenstain Bears anymore. Yeah, well, that's, and that's just one, one tidbit, man. There's so many... I wish so, we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it for yeah, another. I was, another to, I was about to really get into that. Yeah, we're gonna save it for another episode because the thing about it is, is that um, the thing about it is, is that there's so many different examples of it. You know what I mean? That we could tell. But a lot of the popular theory is just real quick is is that CERN. If anybody knows who CERN is, CERN is the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. They take particles and they speed them up to the speed of light and they crash them into each other and they try to find what's called the higgs boson or the god particle um so but in that is essence the idea behind the mandela effect is is that they did something at cern they Created collapsed negative energy well not so much negative energy but they somehow either collapsed our dimension and shifted us into the very next one over let's <clears throat> real quick i don't want to get too far into they it. collided I, wanna, cross for a brief I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to get too deep into the rabbit hole, but basically think about it in the sense of a four lane highway. Okay. You're all the way in the left lane. The next lane to your right is the next dimension over, right? It's not too different. It's not too far away. You know what I mean? But then as you get further away, things Some get more different, right? You know right. what I mean? Things get more different. And, uh, that's the idea behind the Mandela effect. So they think that CERN did something, pushed us into another dimension, or fractured ours, or whatever the case may right, be. Just we'll, cross for that yeah. brief moment. We'll get, we'll get, we'll Twisted get it. Shit up. Yeah, we'll get it figured out, you know, in, in another episode. But yeah, dude, I mean, it's pretty fucking nutty, bro. You know, I can't wait to get into that because there's gonna be just hundreds of examples, bro. But even that, that so back on the CIA topic, dude, that could be something that's like just disinformation, like you know, maybe. Maybe something did happen or didn't happen, and they just wanted to confuse the fucking populace, dude, especially the people that sit there and try to figure things out or try to broaden their thought process or mind, you know, and, oh, hey, let's get them focused on this shit, and, you know, let's make shit weird for a minute, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, and that's what I mean about, like, certain shit, dude, like, they're doing shit, like, so they... The CIA, like I said, has been notoriously been rogue for a super long time. They conduct espionage missions and cloak and dagger shit everywhere, bro. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And, like, they're the ones that are gaining intelligence on these people. They're gaining intelligence on that people. Whacking out this person. Whacking out that person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, like they suicide, bro. Suicide. That's what I mean. It's just like, <laughs> that's no. clear, though, though. But that's what's crazy, bro. Is is like there's so many like there's so many substances that they dealt with, bro. Like one substance is, which produce physical disablement, such as paralysis of the legs, acute anemia. As soon as you get it, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> well, it's cute. Uh, you know, it, for me, it's like like substances will enhance the ability of individuals to withstand privation, torture, and coercion during interrogation and so-called brainwashing. So they give they, they have something that they give you, bro. Like so you're an agent in the field, you're about to get captured. You take this fucking shit. You're a loony you're in the loony bin. Right. You know what I mean? Like Or even uh what is it? What is it? Uh the cyanide pills, dude, where it's like Yeah, the Nazis you know, were self, famous for that. So fucking suicide, dude. Yeah. Like, oh, you ain't getting my information. Yeah, hell hydra. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Captain America, by the way. Yeah. Or at least Chris Evans, because you played a badass Captain America. Right. You know. Uh, but yeah, no, that that was a real thing, dude. In the CIA, instead of employing cyanide, which it is rumored that they did, like that they they they, they did, if in some extreme situation that they had to do something like that, like super sensitive information. Sure, I'm I'm sure they got something for it. But they used to take LSD with them, bro. They would take LSD. And they would go into these trips for hours on end. 
yeah. and then just be like, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah. And then any information that they were given, the interrogators didn't know what was what. You know what I mean? Right. Like it's like, oh no, this dude's crazy. <laughs> weirdo. Oh, fuck, we got another guy <laughs> from <laughs> Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. These guys. Right, you know what I mean? So, like, you know, and that's what's crazy is, is how far the research went. You know what I mean? So, like, they went as far as is, is employing psychiatrists that were at certain institutions. You know what I mean? Like, that would be, like, so there was a guy at Harvard. You know what I mean? That was, like, a, he did his residency at Harvard, dude. But he tested, like, hypnosis and, uh, like, a bunch of other sleep paralysis and, like, a bunch of d- different shit. <clears throat> but, like, uh. It's it's one of those things, man, because they like and this just wasn't one like this was like multiple um, doctors, bro. So like, oh, shit, now I'm missing it. Oh, shit. I don't know where I went. But basically, like, you know, like Jolly West, you know, Jolly West was a um, don't quote me because I can't find my well, fucking actually, information. Uh, I think I have a link up here about Jolly West. Jolly West. Yeah. Or, Louis Jollin. Yeah. Yeah. Jolly West. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what, what exactly are you trying to relate there? Um, so basically that Jolly West was a psychiatrist that works for the CIA. Yeah. Okay. So was an American psychiatrist whose work focused particularly on cases where subjects were taken to the limits of human experience. He performed Jack Ruby's psychiatric evaluation and he was was never released. And he was in charge of UCLA's Department of Psychiatry yep. and the Neuropsychiatric Institute for 20 years. Yeah. He was also active in anti-death penalty activism, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. In his later years, he did some different things. But he essentially... Well, good for him. Turning well, the corner there. Yeah. yeah <laughs> fucking A, dude. It doesn't matter how many people you fucking destroyed. You know what I mean? Well, dude, that's what... So this is what's crazy about this is, is like... So all these dudes are dead. There's only a very few that are still alive, you know what I mean? And none of them can face, like, reprimand, you know, to be reprimanded. Right, so it's like, right. you know, these people, bro, like, they paid out, they were paying out million dollar settlements, bro, right. to these people because they were coming out and saying, you know, like, yo, man, I didn't fucking sign up for that. Like, I didn't sign up for this. And, and a lot of them have still long term mental shit going on, bro, because they can't. They, they they played with their fucking head so much that it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, like a, dude. shit ain't firing right. You right. know what I mean? So it's scary, bro. Well, just... I know. I know how. Like sometimes, dude, I'll get into like. I mean, you see it, dude. We'll get into we'll get into talks, conversations. We'll we'll get into conversations like this outside of here, and um, I get to a point where I'm like, fuck, what, what. Fuck, dude. Sorry, man. I lost exactly what the fuck I was saying. But, like, I do it all the time, dude. And it's, you know, I can only imagine how it is for other people that, like, get programmed to fucking lose their memory, dude. You know? Yeah. Well, well, that's it. And that's that's what they're saying is, is that they, they develop these different drugs, bro, for certain shit. So, like, you could fucking, they dose you with amnesia. You know right. what I mean? They, they'd hit you with something that, like, scrambled your brain. And you aren't like you're catatonic, like right. you're not even like you're drooling on yeah, your fucking right, self. Right. You know, and Robert De Niro and analyze that, you know what <laughs> I mean? like, singing Maria. You well, know you know, I mean? you know what's crazy, dude. Like with with alcohol is like, um. So there was a study done. If you're like you can ingest, you can ingest whatever fucking alcohol you want. Granted, you might get alcohol poisoning, but also in the same sense, if you ingest a certain to a certain point of alcohol, when you get what's called blackout drunk. You're still consciously doing what you're doing. However, what happens is is that your brain runs out of memory space is what happens. Yeah, it's it like can't a hard drive. Record, yeah, it can't record what you're doing yeah. anymore. And that's why you, you quote unquote black out is because your brain just can't save that information anymore yeah I, I i haven't read too much into that but i can understand it you know what i mean i can understand that being possible in a sense you know what i mean you could just be blacking out because you're pissed fucking drunk well that's well well yeah it's it, the alcohol um shuts down your your recording whatever in your brain so yeah. you cannot record what you're doing but your brain is still functioning you're still 
acting as you would. Yes, you're still drunk, so I mean, it's not like you just go clean sober and you're acting. So you what happens remember. when you piss on yourself? Like, is that like? Well, so that's actually uh, liver failure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, the real deal. That's uh, that's actually liver failure. If you uh, you, you drink, yourself? yeah. If you oh, drink, uh, if you drink, you know, a certain amount, and uh, it ends your your brain ends up shutting down your liver, dude, and you end up fucking pissing yourself. It's not. <laughs> You know, I don't want to say it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the same for a child too. You know, maybe it's just, uh, your brain doesn't function a certain amount of intake or whatever it is you're intaking as a child or, you know, cause there's, there's kids that, you know, can't get through, uh, the wet in the bed stage dude till, you know, later age than most kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, you know, it's when, a mental thing. Right. So, I mean, I think, uh, but, well, I mean, your liver's not a mental thing. Your liver, your liver's getting fucked up, dude. So no, I'm talking about some, where I'm, you're getting yeah, drunk that's and you're different. pissing yourself. Then that's different than what I'm that's saying your is liver. getting past, like, the fucking, you know what I mean, the mental side of it in the, you know, bed. Cause right, but JR, anyway, if JR you, was probably, like, 15. If you're getting drunk, pissing yourself, dude, that's your, that's liver failure. You should probably uh, slow down or get yourself checked out. <laughs> get that prostate checked. Right. <laughs> JK. Definitely. But um, yeah, like I mean, I yeah, I could see it, man. You know, but that's the but that's the type of shit that these people. Well, I look are, at alcohol because I drink it. Often, well, so. they they said that, man. You know what I mean? They got they got a serum that promotes the effects of alcohol. You know what I mean? So you could sit there and think that you had one drink and you personally are drunk as fuck, like you just drank a bottle of vodka. You right. know what I mean? And it's all from a dose. Like they just well, dose just it. Just imagine with how many bottles you see, dude. That say, oh, you know, this liquor is forty percent. You took. Three shots, dude, and now all of a sudden you're you're fucking dizzy as shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel drunk as shit, but it's forty percent now. And you're a regular drinker, okay? So you know you drank eighty percent vodka or whatever the case may be, whatever liquor you drink, it's eighty percent most of the time. But then you turn around and drink this forty percent shit. Now all of a sudden you feel worse off of three shots when you're killing bottles at eighty percent. Oh, there's saying? a difference like in quality though. That's that's like sugar levels. But well, let me tell you, the only technically reason, you're supposed to record. What, listen, the what only your alcohol content is. Oh, on the your only bottle. reason I say that, dude, is from my younger years when we used to fucking get Crystal Palace. <laughs> Bro. Crystal Palace, dude. Devil Springs. You ever drink Devil Listen, Springs? But that's like a but that but Devil <laughs> Springs is like at least a reputable thing. You know what I mean? Well, like it's Crystal, bro. Vodka. Crystal Palace, bro, was like just the ten dollar bottle hand no, right, of yeah. vodka. You Thirty dollars, I mean? you're getting a fucking week supply of vodka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> the dirtiest vodka ever, dude. But like it would, <laughs> oh, it's so like you get up. right, you'd get so sick, dude, from drinking. You get fucked up, but like you get oh, so you'll sick, get fucked up, right? <laughs> you get so sick, dude, because of all the sugar that's in. It. it's right. like all of the other shit so well, right 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 that's and that's the thing like you know people listen if you like drinking make sure you're fucking reading ingredients man be smart about your shit like they, they always say drink responsibly man nah, drink responsibly do no you don't want to do that yeah you sure do no don't drink and drive you no for sure <laughs> but uh yeah man so like i mean so these are all things that like this agency has just employed in one operation. You know what I mean? Just yeah. one, dude. This is like, this is the tip of the iceberg. You know what I mean? This isn't even like scratching the surface on this stuff. I did so much research on MK Ultra, dude, and, and it felt like I was there for fucking three hours and right. didn't even well, bro, that's, that's get into certain shit. Jumping down the rabbit hole, man. Yeah. You know, and then some people like, maybe if I was somebody else just, you know, jumping in a conversation with you and you start telling me about this just to relay information. Not even necessarily to sell me on it, just to have the conversation. You know, I could only imagine the majority of people would be like, "You're fucking nuts, dude. Knock it off. I don't even yeah. want to talk about this anymore." Well, that's that's the problem, man. Is you start getting into complex thoughts, and people are like, "Yeah, I'm abandoning ship." Well, you're breaking the reality. Abandoned bro. ship. Stop breaking reality. Abandoned ship. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop breaking reality, bro. Yeah, that's it, man. You know, but at the same time, you know, it's people. I said this to someone earlier. Was that you know what you have to you have to connect with someone on their level. You know what I mean. You well, can't right. expect someone don't to force it either. You can't expect someone to believe what you believe or even think that way without without meeting them somewhere on the level, right. and fucking uh, and 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 building it from there. You know what I mean. So yeah, that's cool. We'll fucking, uh, we'll probably go for like an hour and a half and then fucking wrap it up. Right. You know what I mean. And, so, you know, but, uh, so we'll fucking, uh, 
Think you can chill for 15? Think you're good? You got it, kid. You fucking got it. I'm a, ch- I'm a champ. Yeah, you has got to pee for everybody that right. wants to know. Um, it's because I drink while we're doing this. He's so. got, he's the got. Seal's got to get broken. He's got three natty daddies. Three natty. <laughs> I drink Canadian beer. Oh, uh, just kidding. Just kidding. Most I definitely nice. don't. Yeah, I drink. I drink. It's just as cheap. <laughs> as the natty it daddies. Better. Not quite. Home, <laughs> not quite homeless. You know but... what? Next next episode, I'm gonna drink fucking Mad Dog, dude. Do just it. To... That's your problem. No, uh, yeah, absolutely. Not. <laughs> it's totally I will your absolutely problem. Absolutely not do that. Me, I drink one of those and I'll fucking be under this table. <laughs> <laughs> well, bro, it's just like me smoking, dude. I haven't smoked in fucking years. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I smoke, but like, I probably like take a couple hits off a of fucking joint, dude, and I'll be good for two weeks. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> I wish. And high for those two weeks. Dude, I smoke way too much pot. Like, I mean, but I, I think it's not too much. Me, personally. Maybe somebody on the outside that doesn't smoke pot would be like, hey, bro, you probably are an addict. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro, well, no, that's not true. You'll be surprised, dude. Probably like, be an addict. You'll be surprised at how many. Actually, matter of fact, you can jump on Facebook. Everybody upsells how much they smoke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not like, me. that's the. Right, well, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. There's well there's there's there mm. is a population of people that don't upsell what they smoke. But however, there are people out there dude that are like, yo, I'll I'll smoke you under the table. Well, great because you know what? When you hit a certain point, you're wasting your weed. How do you feel now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. There is a uh, there I've is a there. peak to you smoking. And if you sit there and yeah, say, yeah, "Oh, yeah, I smoked yeah, fucking yeah, 20 yeah. points today." Yeah. So, all right, well, so, good. You just wasted well, a fucking right, so half pound. Let me let me tell you though from my perspective because I smoke a lot of weed, so like for me, it's like and I used I could to smoke. Don't get shit I could smoke, I could smoke five six months in a row, dude. You know what I mean? It's not a matter of that I'm like not fucking high, dude. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, see, here's Ray fucking going to take a pee. Right. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like I, you know, for me, that's, that's like that's normal shit. You know what I mean? It's like it's almost like smoking cigarettes, dude. You know, it's not. I don't. I don't want to say that. It's like it addictive in the sense of smoking cigarettes but like it's way more pleasant it makes everybody cooler everybody chiller and everybody you know it's it's one of those things man you know so um you know fucking ray totally abandoned ship he's right now using the pisser so because he drank three natty daddies and he um has uh has the the bladder so um but in any event with the cia shit man this shit's pretty crazy I mean, I don't, I don't know what to make of it, dude. I know they're shady as fuck, and um, they, uh, you know, this is like I said, this is just one scratching the surface, tip of the iceberg operation, dude. There's so many, so many more. You know what I mean? And like, we'll get into them, and we'll get into the CIA overall, and and you know, some of the other things that they've been involved in, and um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll definitely figure out like what we what what best uh you know, contemplation we can come up with it as for where we're headed in the future. Um, you know, because, you know, MK Ultra was obviously dialed back and, you know, uh, rescinded and all that other stuff. And, you know, so it's, it's no longer an active program that we know of on the books, you know what I mean? But, you know, there's a lot of clandestine, a lot of clandestine things that happen in our country that we'll never, ever know about. And um, the thing about it is, is is that we, I don't think we should know about all of them, but we should know for... I don't know about that, dude. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I could jump on board with that statement, dude, because... <sighs> bro, people panic, dude. dude. People okay. panic. So if right. I come to you, I come to you and sit you down on your couch, bro, every time okay. I go, I'm chasing a terrorist. You know okay. what I mean? It's like, okay, well, there is a bad guy. We he we caught him with a bomb. You know what I mean. He was gonna blow up a fucking train station or some shit. But we got him. You know what I mean. And that's what it is. So I don't think people need to know everything every single time. Like, well, you need you need reality in your life, dude. I mean, I can't I can't sit here and get behind. Yeah, but people not being told reality. Dude. Yeah, but people. Yeah, but see, that's the thing though. Is is reality is just what I, I understand you it's gonna it. break you know what I mean? the majority of people's reality dude i understand that it's gonna probably break your fucking thought process on shit but at the end of the day i would rather be told what the fuck's going on than not i would rather 
because I mean, even, that's you though. That's you. That's so, so. Like I said, these people with the head in the sand, they're they're scared, bro. That's what I'm saying. Is is there? You come there and say, look, you know what? Uh, uh, but think about it. If you're doing it, if you're doing it from jump, how could you be scared no more? If it's a, if it's a well, yeah, re- but reality. That's, we're well beyond that. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what sucks, dude. Is it's all been sugar coated. Well, somebody's reality needs to get broken then, or not? Somebody's, well, uh, everybody's, everybody's. You know right? what I mean? That's and that's including myself. Well, yeah, I'm always looking for new. new I want stuff. my reality to be broken. I want, dude. I want the truth. I yeah. want the truth. As close as we can get to it, man. You know what I mean? Because well, I right. think, I think the truth is a matter of interpretation. You know what I mean? Well, think of how much things would fucking fall and collapse, dude. If we were all getting the truth, if we were all getting the the real reality of things. Like, dude, everybody's talking about, oh, the new world order, da 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 Well, yeah, those people have their agenda. But at the end of the day, imagine if everybody was privy to all the information. Yeah. I, but it's going to become a new world order. Everybody's going to be on the same page because yeah. everybody's catching the truth and the reality right. of things. Well, that's where I think is, and not to cut you off, I think that's where a lot of our, like, war is. Okay, so, like, the real war. The re- not the fucking war on drugs, not some bullshit war with some country. The real war. You know what I mean? Well, what's on, the real war? What I'm saying is is the real war is the dumbing down of human beings. So, like, now check this out. So, the powers that be, yeah. that's, you know, obviously the government, the fucking, you know, the new world order, whatever the fuck you want to call them, aliens, whoever, somebody's controlling. Right. Like there's, they're pulling the strings. For sure. Right, right. You know, you dig what I'm saying? Right. So for sure. So, the thing about it is, is, is like, now... Those people that with the head in the sand is like, well, I don't want to know about that. You know what I mean? I don't want to fucking know about that shit. Like, I just, I just want to live my day to day. I want to yeah. go to work. I want to worry about my kids. I want to worry about this. I want to worry, you know. And then as soon as look, dude, coronavirus, panic. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Toilet paper gone. <laughs> uh, dude, we talked about that. In the, I think I believe the first episode, dude. How it, how so easy it was for fucking all those people to just get told, hey, go to your house, <laughs> go to your house, and don't fucking leave. Yeah, and that's what I mean, though, is, is uh, you know, everybody panicked, bro. So, like, I think, and, and that's uh, another reason why we haven't had disclosure yet is because of the panic that comes with it and all the extra stuff that we don't know. Um, so, I think it's... it's How far-fetched is my idea, dude, that I personally believe there needs to be a collapse somewhere and fucking shit needs to reset itself? Well, the problem is, dude, is is that we're either going to get that with nat- natural selection or a revolution. You know what I mean? Because we're never going to get to a point where, like, the thing about it is, man, is here's here's the issue is is that we're so far removed from the community mindset that it's like, oh, I know, and it's so terrible. It really is. But this is what I mean, though, is it's so like in in the essence of like this power crush, definitely overpopulated for that too. Power structures. CIA organizations, FBI, the government, all this other this uh, of this other shit, man, is this, like you. We we're only given certain information. You right. know what I mean. So when we're given this information, we're supposed to take that at face value and say, okay, this is what it is. You know what I mean. But when we don't have information, we bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> well, um, we do anyway. Well, well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like I, I'm only speaking for myself. You know what I mean. Right, but right. it's like, and then when we're given information, we have to decipher whether or not this is disinformation or information. Right. You know what I mean. And I just, I just think that a collapse would have to come in forms of revolution but like i said that's that's where my mindset was going was this community mindset is like we're so far up facebook's asshole that like but we couldn't start a revolution where the fuck are we gonna start a revolution private group by, <laughs> you by, know what I by mean? doing like, it well listen by doing never it. never mind i don't want to sit here and like no but what put I'm out saying, on a platform dude uh my yeah. ideas of certain things but, but no but <laughs> what i'm saying is though is, is that it would never materialize because people would be like yo dude i just created this fucking group and we're a bunch of fucking right and we're we're See, the, we're the west virginia <laughs> fucking totally militia that. you know what i mean like no dude <clears throat> like there has to be a grassroots well just base. just look at the the instance uh what was it down in arizona dude where they were trying to fucking strong arm motherfuckers and dudes, dude, dudes from all over the country showed up there. Like, yep, what's up? Cross the line, we'll start pulling triggers. You know, like it's really not that far fetched. However, I think I think people that have that sort of mindset are in the same 
mindset you are as, you know, well, if we really wanted to fucking start shit off, man, we can't because it's going to get fucking, yeah, somebody's going to rat on us yeah, and fucking well, put dude, it out there. You've seen what was going on down in New York City with this coronavirus shit with Mayor de Blasio? Yeah. The dude had a snitch hotline. Yeah. Like, you can call and tell on people, bro, that are yeah. social distancing. Well, dude, I mean, look at the, uh, doing drone what is it, what is it called, the SAFE Act, dude? I could literally call up the police and be like, hey, you know, like, and, uh, and this is hypothetical, like, saying, oh, you know, Edwin's got a case full of fucking guns. Uh, I don't think he's mentally stable to have them. Yeah. They can uh, come to your house, yeah, take them, kick yeah. in your fucking door, take your guns, yeah. put you in jail. And you get, and, and most likely end up in a really bad situation, hurt or dead. Right. It ain't going to bother me. You know it's going to I mean? bother you. And that's your, nor- as, as yeah. far as I'm concerned, you're a normal human being living your fucking life. Yeah. But yet, I can sit there and do that. Yeah, that's weird, dude, because it's... It's fucked up. Yeah, oh, for sure. You know what I mean? But it's... Unfortunately, that's the system that we're bred into. Loophole. You know what I mean? So we'll we'll figure out, you know what I mean? We'll get, we'll get into all that shit, too, Yo, man. Shout There's, out to Sweet Tart Ropes, by the way. Fuck that. So they, dude, listen, we can't be plugging people that ain't paying us yet. Right, hey, listen, you get, you know, you get the first ad for free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'll I tweet it out, like, yo, I shouted you out. What's yeah. up? Next yeah. one's next one's on the books. Yeah. <laughs> next one's twenty grand, right? <laughs> At <laughs> least, oh, fuck, dude, shit. People like me. <laughs> no, yeah. So, like, I mean, we'll 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 keep doing it, and we'll keep talking about stuff, man. And we'll, you know, we'll uh, obviously get more into deeper subjects, and we'll have longer episodes and stuff. Um, oh, you know, this shit's mad fun, bro. This is mad. Oh, fun. dude, I love this. Um. I'm I'm hugely disappointed in the fact that we did we did record um episode three point one and uh Well it was actually three, this is three point one. Well well <laughs> well this is three point two. Three point one we recorded this is and going it, in the book is it was three. fucked up. Right, right. It's gonna be three, but either way, we recorded an episode and uh we just fucked up the quality. Just amateur hour, so. But in any event, join us next time on Nonsensical Knowledge for anyone interested in supporting our podcast with a monthly donation that helps ensure that we can keep releasing content and doing our thing of talking nonsensical knowledge. Please visit www.anchor.fm. Slash Nonsensical Knowledge 2020 slash support. This link can also be found in our Anchor profile and Spotify description. Please be sure to stop by our YouTube page and like and subscribe. Also, check out our Facebook page at Nonsensical Knowledge. And our Twitter page at Nonsensical Knowledge 2020 for questions, comments, and information. Email us at nkpodcast at outlook.com. Later, peeps.